beneath me here in the chapel is where the actual entrance to the gateway to hell is. Right below here. There's plenty of history on this, guys. This was a tour. I didn't realize this was going to be a tour, but um, I'll give you the rundown anyway. Uh, it was built to stop the demons from coming up from the gateway to hell. So they built this chapel on top. And at, at night, if you listen carefully, you should hear the torments and screams from hell as they try to escape from beneath this ground. So guys, this is Hauske Castle, literally up here in the middle of nowhere. I had to get an Uber ride, first time using an Uber. Got up here, it was an hour and 40 minutes journey up here. Made it, it's been raining all day. It's massive fog has come down. It's perfect to set the mood and the, and the, uh, the atmosphere for here. Because it's such a, there's so much history involved in this place. And I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I have a bit more to do. I have no idea how I'm going to get home, hoping an Uber again. So I'm just kind of found this pathway. I'm just wandering and wandering. I brought the drone with me, of course. I don't think I'm going to get to fly it. It's so foggy out there and the rain is starting to come down again. We're just going to keep walking around here, stroll around, see what's around and hope to God I can get home. I really miss guys. Whoa, almost fell. I really miss uh, strolling around these woods. Back at home, it's one of my favorite things to do is literally just whoa, 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 whoa. It's literally just to get the dog, put her on the lead and just walk, go down, down across the, the fields. So many steps and uh, just chill, go for a stroll through the wood, it's so peaceful. And this kind of is bringing me back home being here. I'm, this, is, this is more special for me, just being here in, in, in the woods. I think it's more like a, a forest to be honest. It's, just, just check this out guys. I wasn't lying guys when I told you. I was in the middle of nowhere. Look at that for a view. It's getting kind of windy up here as well. I am just sitting on a rock. Man, that is beautiful. Oh, guys, I can't believe it. I'm actually... I'm actually here in Hauske, Hauske Castle. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful view. That, you, you can't deny that, guys. That is just, uh, he couldn't be in a bad mood after today. But, um, right, history. Basically, Hauske, the, the, the locals here were afraid um, because there was a hole, an endless bottomless pit where demons and creatures and demonic forces would, would just rise, crawl their way up through it. Uh, some of them were winged and whatnot, some just like claws, but they would just climb and they'd climb and they'd fly and then eventually they'd get out and they'd fly around and they'd be terrorizing the, the locals and they'd be dragging them down to the bottom of this pit. Um, then there was there were stories of the uh, the Nazis actually coming here to, to uh, the Czech uh, Republic and setting up camp in base in, in Hauske Castle where they would um, trying to harness the dark forces of demonic creatures to try and help win. It's just crazy, I know. Um, but basically what they did was they to stop the, the creatures from, from coming up. They would actually build, uh, they built the castle, the Hauske Castle, around the, uh, the bottomless pit, right? And then furthermore, the only way to, to combat uh, demonic forces was uh, God. Uh, so they built a chapel right on top of the, the, the pit, which is what I showed you. Um, so I gave you the bit of history on that there, and there's ants everywhere here, guys. Oh my god, they are everywhere. <laughs> I, I, I may move, there's ants everywhere. Oh, ants in my pants! Built the chapel anyway, over the, the, the gateway to hell to try and stop the demons from coming up. Um, there's been, been sightings of, of demons um, before, but since the, the castle was built around it and the chapel was built on top, no, nothing. Um, there's been no sightings, no demonic forces at all. And I just think guys, the history is, is, is quite interesting on this and I've just been dying to sh share this with you guys. Um, I've wanted to come here, like I said, there for almost a year and finally got here now. Really, really glad I came up here, guys. It's just been, it's been nice. I, I, I'm into all that kind of stuff. 
I might have been the best tour guide guys because I really thought I could just wander around this place and you pay in and you just walk around but um, nah, it was alright, I felt the tour really wasn't uh, I, 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 okay, it was all in, in check, so I, I couldn't understand what was going on. One last piece of information for you is, if you go inside the chapel here, and on the left-hand wall, right, you're going to see, um, I think it's they're called men mentors, or that that mentor is actually killing a human. And if you notice, he's using his left hand to do it. Like, you have God's right-hand man, say, well... You may guess it already, the devil is the left hand man. So the left hand uh, represents that those mentors are actually not good. They're some sort of creature coming from hell itself. Funny story, right? Uber doesn't actually get available with Mouska. She can't get picked up there. So I got, I asked a nice local man who's working there uh, where to go and stuff. He, said his wife could bring me to Dorsky. I have no idea where I really am. I went, it's gone north anywhere from Hauska. I, uh, thank God, they told me there to get a train. Well, if you get a bus first, buses were, weren't uh, left already, so to get a train, I had to run here, 15 minute run, got to the train. Hopefully this is the right train. Right guys, new flash again. Got on the wrong train, had to get off the next stop to go back. I have so I get on here, I get off here, I get on here, off here, on here, and then to Prague by six, twelve past six. So about three hours time. I am hungry, I have no water, I am wrecked. So guys just got from the first stop here in um, Mala something. I'm in the middle of nowhere. Guys. Look at this. It's all part of the adventure. I finally got home. It took about four hours, I'd say, to get back. Uh, quite an adventure today. Really, really happy that I did it. Um, yeah, so the moral of the story is don't get an Uber to the middle of nowhere, especially the mountains. It was, it was sound like a good idea at the beginning, but uh, yeah, that was it. It's quite, quite a trip back. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to like, leave a, leave a comment, and uh, subscribe. Check out my social media, guys. Links be in the description. Adios, amigos.